So for whatever reason, my SSD decided to die and um, I had to uh, reinstall my system. So I was like, it's possibly a good excuse for me to distro hop. Uh, I've been sitting on my Gen 2 install for like almost a year and um, everything was almost perfect. Um, it's almost because, you know, it's Gen 2 and um, yeah, well, I, I don't really have to say a lot about that. Why it is almost perfect and not perfect. Uh, anyways, so I got myself a new SSD uh, and I had to install something obviously can't install windows because that would obviously violate my ssd so i decided i would um, go with arch but uh, i was like maybe let's just not go arch and um, try something else uh, so there isn't like a lot which i think is good and i should try um SUSE was, I think, and um, the last time I used OpenSUSE was somewhere in around 2020, maybe during the COVID times when I was using it. After that, I never really got back onto OpenSUSE. So um, this was like a good excuse for me to go back and see how things are. So uh, I grabbed myself the offline installer of OpenSUSE and I... Um, went and installed the KD Plasma. Um, okay, uh, don't really uh, get at me in that why am I using a D and why, is, why do you not have a window manager and whatnot. I can't use one because my uh, workflow is just way better when it comes to Plasma and um, uh, I don't want an ultra minimal system. Uh, I don't want it to use like only 20 MB of RAM or whatever you people want. Um, anyways, uh, I wouldn't rant about that. So I installed the KDE Plasma of OpenSUSE. And uh, as you can see, I riced it a bit the way I want it. Um, I like myself a dock and I like myself a very minimal app launcher on top, which is right here. Um, I kind of forgot which theme I'm using. Uh, if you people want to know what it is, maybe leave a comment or something like that. So I can possibly make a video on what it is and how I like to tweak my KD plasma. Uh, actually I'll quickly just run a fetch and I'll show that. What did I type? Oh, never mind. I'm not wearing my glasses, so I'm kind of blind. So it's OpenSUSE Tumbleweed, as you can see, and that's my console theme, whatever it is. So I've been on OpenSUSE now for um, five days, maybe, uh, and um, things are fine. Um, I didn't have to, uh, I don't know, break my head a lot to get things working. Uh, it's mostly been like out of the box working fine. There are a few things with it that you might have to, um, you know, uh, keep in mind before you uh, make your Ventoy USB for this. Um, there aren't actually, no, I, I was going to say that there are not a lot of packages uh, with uh, their repositories, but um, actually the thing is, they kind of have almost everything that I want, maybe like uh, two or three apps or something like that I installed from Flatpak because I couldn't get it from anywhere else. Other than that, they pretty much had almost everything that I wanted. Um, and another problem that I faced right out of the box was um, Dolphin, which is the um, KDE's file manager. Uh, not showing previews for, I mean, previews or thumbnails for uh, video files. So I had to uh, install um, uh, some packages for it. Actually, I think that's included with when you install the codecs. So actually, but when I installed the codecs, I was able to get video playback to work, but the uh, thumbnails was not working. Uh, 
and actually the ffmpg uh, thumbnails plugin was installed sorry the package was installed still i was not getting and i had to install some other package which i don't really remember uh, to get the thumbnails to work and that was kind of finicky um, but that did work eventually and um, yeah it's fine now and the other thing with this is the i mean uh, the issue that i have with it is zipper being slow uh i mean actually a lot of people might not agree with that for at least i mean uh, but for me at least zipper um it's almost every time is very very fucking slow i mean not very very but like very slow most of the time at times it just works and gets the job done but it is slow i think maybe it's because of their um slower mirrors or what not um uh, i haven't really uh, sorry gotten into um you know changing the mirrors and all actually i tried it before uh and i changed the mirrors to see if that helped but uh, that didn't do much and i was still getting uh, very you know less download speeds whenever i'm trying to install something so that was the issue it's definitely not my internet issue because i got a gigabit line so uh, it's it's not that um other than that um this is just i, I don't know this is um kind of perfect for me you know it's it's like it feels um like something new because uh, i'm mostly used to arch as a person uh, because uh, arch was like the first distribution that i picked uh, when i uh, dove head first inside the linux whatever pool uh and i was like yeah why why you know go and try something like debian and shit or linux mint i was like oh, i'm going to install arch and install arch is what i did uh and i've kind of learned from there a lot of things uh so uh i'm no stranger uh, to having my screens go black every time i run an update or uh, my uh, bootloader deciding to die so um I don't mind getting my hands dirty with uh, you know the CLI work so yeah uh, but anyways um yeah so this is my open source install and uh, it's been actually working quite quite stable maybe more than even arch at this point so if you would ask me like should i sweet uh, switch to open source as my um, daily driver um i would say maybe uh actually thing is this is this is probably not for everyone because um there are certain things that you might have to um you know uh, learn fresh uh, especially if you're coming from something like ubuntu and all you'll have to learn a few more things with this um and the installation uh this thing is kind of scary for new people who are like you know absolute newbies when it comes to linux um and they are used to the calimaris installer uh yeah this can be a bit daunting but uh, i don't think it is you can just look things up and you know get it going um yeah so yeah there is not a not a lot of uh, negatives that i can actually bring up about open source um and one more thing which i should mention they make very cringe songs on youtube uh, and i'm not even kidding you can actually go and look up their youtube channels and channel and um, see um the parody songs that they make uh that's that's the biggest drawback of using open source uh, because it, seriously th- th- those songs are cringe uh if you want to know what i mean just uh, go to youtube and um have a look <laughs> what they do there so yeah um goodbye gen2 for a while and uh hello open source uh hmm I guess that's it that's pretty much everything that I wanted to uh, say in this uh, quick update video uh that for the time being actually maybe not for the time being I will run this for as much for as long as it runs uh and let's see what happens 
so far i haven't um, hit any major things i mean um, problems with it it's been going pretty stable so yeah let's see what happens uh, if you would like to know about uh, theming your plasma and whatnot, I mean, the way I do it at least, then uh, do let me know. Uh, and um, yeah, maybe like the video if you did like it or not, or subscribe, whatever. Uh, doesn't really matter. Um, and yeah, see you all around. Bye.